Thank you very much. So we'll carry on to the next uh, presentation. And uh, it's a great honor to welcome uh, Dr. Iris uh, Chehui uh, Luke, who is a postdoctoral fellow at Dr. Supriya Shah's uh, laboratory at the Hutch in Washington. Uh, Iris uh, received her uh, PhD in inter interdisciplinary uh, oncology in British Columbia, at the University of British Columbia in Canada. And uh, her uh, work has uh, focused on uh, mutant IDH in intrahepatic cholangic carcinoma and explore novel synthetic uh, lethal therapeutics uh, that can effectively suppress uh, these tumors. And uh, again, I note that uh, 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 Iris was the recipient uh, of the 2018 Andrea Mary Fuquay Memorial Research Fellowship. Please. Thanks for the kind introduction. And it's really my honor to be here to present my work and also to receive the award. Um, really thanks to the foundation and all the donors for your support that make this work possible. And so today I'm gonna right, talk to you about my uh, project, um, which we are developing uh, novel uh, human-derived uh, model system in ICC. And uh, this is an early stage project that I'm gonna show you about some new data, I mean early data, and also um, followed by some background. So before I start my talk, I want to give you guys an update about my mentor, uh, Dr. Supriya Saha Shub. He unfortunately cannot come to the meeting because he was diagnosed with uh, myeloid fibrosis, which is a type of uh, blood cancer that associated with bone marrow failure. And he uh, is now undergoing bone marrow transplant in Fred Hutch, which is actually one of the best centers to do this procedure. Um, although it's a very challenging uh, put, uh, path for him, but he just wants to update uh, everyone that he is staying strong and he is recovering well. So let's hope for the best for him. So in the Saha lab, we are focusing on um, primarily I IDH mutant ICC which is the most common mutation in, um, in the ICC um, context compared to other existing known uh, mutation. And this is also a therapeutic actionable um, subset of patient. And in our lab, we focusing on multiple um, area relating to this subset of patient or tumors, including identifying the downstream target of mutant IDH, which may help us to understand how the clinical compound works in the clinic. Second, we are studying the mechanism of the satinib hypersensitivity in this subset of ICC. We are also exploring the immune surveillance in uh, mutant IDH uh, using a uh, genetic modified mouse model. Oh, sorry. And finally, we are uh, exploring patient-derived uh, tumor size culture system that it can be used as a rapid uh, drug testing uh, system. Uh, for this subset of uh, ICC and also can be utilized as a tool to uh, validate the mechanistic founding of all the three uh, aspects of my, our projects. And so IDH, uh, many of you know that it is a key metabolic enzyme and mutant, mutation in uh, IDH result in the uh, uh, gain of enzymatic uh, activity of this uh, molecule result in production of 2-hydroxyglutarate. Uh, to Hg, which is a well-known uh, oncometabolite, and it was shown by Shub's previous work that it inhibits hepatocyte differentiation. And with additional oncogenic hits, it can um, induce the formation of ICC. However, how uh, IDH inhibitor works in established ICC is not fully defined. And here is the recent uh, phase two clinical trial uh, of Ag120 the mutant IDH1 inhibitor, and this slide uh, was shown by Dr. Goyo's uh, talk. Um, we can see that um, about half of the patient uh, result in stable disease after treating with this drug. And this uh, work was presented in 2017 by AGOs in an AACL conference. And this study was able to obtain a small subset of patients um, that uh, have pre-treatment and on-treatment biopsy. 
And they found that patients that perform better in uh, better progression-free survival, they are associated with increased cholangiola um, morphology, as shown in the bottom uh, image, bottom right image. And they are also associated with higher hepatocytogenic expression. However, how this drug uh, exactly works in the tumor is, not, is poorly defined. And this is mainly based on the fact that there is a lack of a representative model uh, in this uh, tumor type. And so in the Saha lab, we have um, um, uh, explored a number of different model systems, including in vitro cell line system, uh, in, in human and both, and also mouse, mouse uh, uh, models, and also in vivo mouse system, uh, including genetic modified mouse model, and also a syngenic uh, grafting model that we can look into the pathogenesis. And finally, we are currently de developing a patient-derived models, including tumor size culture model that I'm talk we're going to talk about, and also PDX model as well as organoid culture models that can be used as a therapeutic um, um, to, uh, to uh, measure the therapeutic response. And so in the tumor slice culture system that we started to uh, uh, develop is in collaboration with Dr. Raymond Yang in, doc, uh, in University of Washington, which is uh, the first cancer surgeon that uh, uh, provides us the uh, ICC uh, receptor tumor. We were able to obtain the tumors and then uh, uh, cut the tumor core into very thin slices and then plate them into culture plates. Uh, with some uh, inserts with pore in the bottom. So these slices can grow for a period of time and then that allows us to uh, treat them with multiple drugs or in combination of drugs. Uh, and then we can uh, monitor the change of or the response of uh, the slices to uh, various drugs by a uh, number of uh, readouts, including MTS assay, which we measure the change in the slice viability. And also we can uh, get the histology and uh, took the slices, uh, uh, take the slice for uh, immunohistochemistry, looking at the proliferation mark, marker and also cell death marker. And we can also get the slice uh, for uh, cryopreserve for RNA and protein further analysis. And we also be able to uh, genotype the uh, IDH mutation status of patients. And here is an example of the, uh, how the slice culture looks like in, uh, after like three days of culture. On the left is the HND staining that you can see is a very typical ICC morphology with a lot of uh, stromal uh, component. And on the right is the KR67 proliferation uh, marker staining in uh, brown. You see the cells are proliferating. And we were able to um, uh, show that the slice in culture can maintain viability on up to 28 days um, by using a special media on the um, uh, left graph uh, in the right line. And on the, on the right, you can see the uh, morphology at day seven and day 28 of the slice after uh, culturing. And they actually uh, still retain quite a lot of uh, original tumor morphology. And so this is one of the examples of uh, how we measure uh, the size culture response to multiple drug treatment. And this is a, one case of IDH wild type uh, patient that we cut into multiple sizes and then we subject them into various drug candidate treatments. And we first, uh, at day zero, we measure the pretreatment viability and then we treat the drug for about three to four days and then we measure again the viability to look at the change. And the graph on the left, you can see, is a change of viability. Um, on the left is the DMSO vehicle control. And uh, on the right is STS, which is a uh, cell death control that you can see a uh, 100% of reduction in viability. So uh, uh, the drug we test, uh, you can see here, uh, like they are somewhat between the, the positive and the vehicle control. Um, we, uh, so far, obtained about 14 uh, cases of uh, uh, tumorous uh, tissue, uh, and we genotyped them, and, and all of them are uh, wild type, IDH wild type tumor. And we are still waiting for the first IDH mutant tumor. 
And here are more examples of how the tumors look like uh, in his, in HND and also IFC staining. On the, on the top are the DMSO treated, and on the bottom are the positive control STS treated, which is a apoptosis inducer. You can see that in the DMSO, you, uh, the KI67 expression is pretty high, and uh, in the STS positive control, you can see much less a KI67 staining, but a significant higher uh, apoptosis or cell death uh, staining in cleave caspase 3. And so um, here is the workflow that we are um, trying to uh, use to assess the treatment responses. Uh, first, uh, looking at the MTS viability assay and together with the histology and also IHC uh, staining. Then we decide or uh, um, think whether it is responding or non-responding. And these slice, slices can also be subject to further uh, analysis like RNA-seq looking at the transcriptional change and also multiplex IHC looking for the immune profile, um, immune component in the slice. And then we can uh, eventually uh, correlate this change with whether the slice are responding or not to a particular drug. And to summarize what we've learned so far, uh, there are pros and cons for this system. The pros are that it is very um, clinically relevant because it's a patient-derived model and it can re retain uh, tumor architecture and microenvironment. And we, we can, we can um, uh, maintain the viability for like two to three weeks, which allow screening of the drug. And also the fact that the side culture system allows us to test multiple drugs simultaneously uh, by single or combo uh, company, uh, uh, drug treatment, and also allow for the downstream testing. The cones are actually also related to the pros because we see a, quite a bit of variation between uh, the sizes um, based on the different um, tumor composition in the slice. So in the second uh, uh, cause I want to highlight is that we, we observe that chemo pretreated tumors the, uh, do not maintain viability as the naive one. So um, the viability gone, like, gone down pretty quickly within the first week. So we try to exclude these in our uh, testing. In order to uh, overcome some of the variation issue, we are, still, we are working on organized system to overcome the um, uh, variation issue. And moving forward, we want to apply this system into two major focus. First is to develop into rapid, uh, rapid uh, drug testing system. Second is to try to use as a tool to validate uh, our mechanistic finding. And we want, also want to invite more uh, collaboration with other centers or group that want to develop this system, like especially we have so little case. And um, this, uh, we also want to like, um, collaborate with uh, like anyone if they want to test some new drugs, uh, we are happy to collaborate. And so thanks for the Colangio Foundation for the award and uh, yeah.